Hi everyone, it's Gail. It is Sunday and we are almost at the close of September. Um, I have two charts up. Uh, the one to the right is the Euro Aussie and the one to the left is the pound dollar. I have these charts up because on Friday these are the two pair that I traded. And I traded each of these pair because why? Because there was a strong trend and evidence. I have a four hour chart up on each of these pair because when I look at my pair, I'm looking for evidence of trend and momentum across time frames. And I like the daily chart, I like the four hour chart, I like the hourly chart. Uh, those are the easy setups when I can find pair that are into momentum, uh, that are trending and have momentum um, on the daily, the four hour, the hourly. Uh, then I'm looking to find um, setups using smaller time frames. My edge in trading is that I know what I am. I'm a trend trader. I'm a trend trader that specializes in momentum. What kind of trader are you? I'm not a carnival barker. I'm a trader. I'm not a carnival barker. I'm not someone who speaks to you to sell you something. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, I started doing these videos uh, when I did teaching for Coach's Corner, and I did it as a way to help traders learn more about high time frames. I still do uh, these videos and talk somewhat about high time frames. I'm on a four hour chart now, and I'll probably show you maybe a weekly and a monthly before I close the video. But what I'm primarily using the videos to do now is to try to challenge traders to know what their edge is. What kind of trader are you? Carnival Barkers have an array of products. They know people aren't one size fits all, so they have different products to fit different people. But in Forex, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carnival barkers, people who sell Forex training as a way to make their living. If you're really lucky, you'll be trained by someone who is first and foremost a trader. That's what's brought me to the level of success that I have. My mentor is first and foremost a trader. Yes, he did some training, but he did it as a one-time thing to train 50 people so at some point those 50 people could go out and help change the Forex training world. If someone is telling you that you can swing from trading strategy to trading strategy during the course of a day so that you can capture this this move and that move, long, short, because they believe that that's possible, I beg to differ. The successful, the great traders, the greatest successful uh, traders that I've heard of trade trend. That doesn't mean that you can't be a reversal trader, that you can't scout. There are ways to uh, exploit uh, situations where uh, price is exhausting. Uh, there's many ways to do that. Uh, it's just not how I choose to trade. That's not how the great traders trade. They are trend traders. And if you don't believe that, all you need to do is look at the great trading books, um, the books that profile uh, the best traders, and you will see over and over that these are trend traders. But most important, whatever it is that you decide to do, whether you want to scalp um, opportunities that exist for exhaustion or whether you want to be a trend trader, be clear about what it is you're doing and stick to it. Don't let other people distract you and take you away from your success because that's exactly what will happen if you're trying to look at a chart and see all the different ways that you could make money. I look at a chart and I'm looking for momentum. Where's the momentum? Is it across multiple time frames? Do I see a way to enter? Can I get in with a low risk 
Is my risk reward high enough to make it worth my while? Those are the things that go through my chart, my thought process. On the Euro Oz and on the pound dollar, we had a well defined trend in place. You can look at each of these charts and see this. Now they're different. Um, if I was to look at the monthly chart on the pound, we have a very different story. And I'm aware of that story. And that story is that there has been a large area of consolidation. Price has not been able to hold under this level. Price has not been able to hold below this level. And it has been ranging within this very large box, which goes from about 164.50 down to uh, 1.5. I mean, it's almost a 1500 pip box. It's a huge box. And just to um, point out something, because we're coming up on a level that a lot of people will see as resistance, and it is. There is a resistance level up here. But when I look at this, I don't let myself be seduced into thinking reversal. I'm thinking trend. I'm thinking, look at all this momentum. Price is going to go there. Price is going to go there, and I want to be part of it. So I am looking to take advantage of retraces short so that I can enter using momentum, using my small risk entries, and trade to the next level that the price is successful in attaining. People will show you a chart and show you these levels, and then all you do is you think, I want to trade the reversal. And that's a recipe for disaster because when price is trending, what price respects is dynamic support and resistance. And support and resistance levels that are drawn with horizontal lines, they're not dynamic, they're static, they're over time. So trend traders don't pay attention to static support and resistance. They use dynamic support and resistance. They use trend lines, they use channels, they use moving averages. They use dynamic support and resistance. As you go into this week, I hope that each of you will take a look at your trading plan. Know what kind of trader you are. Know what charts that you will trade. What are the setups that allow you to enter? I trade slingshots and moths. I learned these from Calvin Thornley. He didn't originate them. They have been in existence for a long time. But he has, over time, gotten better, changed his settings, uses them in very specific uh, entries. And I have learned to, to get better at picking my chart entries from doing it the same way that Calvin does. Calvin will be offering a special free webinar at the end of the year for the students that he's working with now and some special guests. The purpose of the seminar will be to uh, get even better at um, defining when it is appropriate to enter. Um, as small risk traders, we have um, a level of precision that doesn't allow uh, any, any or much room for error. Uh, they're very punishing entries if you don't know how to use them correctly. The trick is learning to use them correctly. So we will be taking um, the next step in terms of talking about what constitutes a best entry. And um, I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to it for the people that are able to attend as well. I hope each of you have a, a great trading week. Uh, thanks for listening to my video.